Good morning everyone, it is Bridget here back in my kitchen, super exciting, I always love to be back in my kitchen and here I am this morning, it is a cold and it's a very blustery day here in Sydney, in fact I'm feeling quite relieved that we've finally seen some rain because we're in a massive drought here in um, New South Wales so we've finally seen some rain which is really really wonderful. And I arrived back from New Zealand last night, quite late um, in, in the evening. And um, today I'm actually off to Newcastle, which is about a two and a half hour drive from Sydney to Newcastle. And I thought about this morning about what I want to take with me for my road trip, because I always like to be prepared, always like to make sure I've got something really healthy and delicious on me when I travel, even if it's a road trip or I'm traveling on a plane, just to make sure that I'm not tempted by things that, that are not so um, necessarily healthy. So I thought what I'll do this morning, because it's still, like I said, it's really early, and hi Leanne, joining us from New Zealand. Um, it's really still fairly early in um, Sydney terms. I think it's just gone, it's just gone nine o'clock. It's actually not that early for people to get up at four, but for me, I'm like, ah, oh, it's nine o'clock. We still need to have breakfast. So I thought what I would share with you guys today is a, absolutely incredible recipe in fact I'm sharing two recipes for um, with us today so if you've joined me on this live video please say hi let me know where you're coming from I always like to know where people are joining us from all over the world but I'm actually giving you two recipes today now they are scrambled eggs because I don't care who you are <laughs> or how you grew up scrambled eggs are awesome it's comfort food right it's breakfast it's brunch Good scrambled egg is also really good to have for, have for dinner as well. So I'm doing scrambled eggs, but these particular scrambled eggs that I'm making for you guys aren't just your ordinary scrambled eggs. They have been named in the New York Times as the best scrambled eggs in the world. I've also scrambled these eggs on the Oprah Winfrey Show <laughs> and Good Morning America. And Oprah loved them, by the way. So I'm going to teach you guys the world's greatest scrambled egg recipe. But, but, and there's always a but, before I do that, I'm also going to teach you a healthy, gorgeous scrambled egg recipe. Because unfortunately, unfortunately, the greatest scrambled eggs in the world, as named in the New York Times, and as named um, on the Oprah show, there's no diet version. They are, they are um, deliciously decadent. So I'm going to give you guys first and foremost the, the diet version, the one that I use more often. And then when it's a special occasion, I pull out the ones I made on the Oprah show because why wouldn't you, right? So hi to everyone who's joining us. Oh, Pamela from the Carpety Coast. Oh my God, I love the Carpety Coast. You guys have the most phenomenal seafood all down that side of New Zealand. So thank you um, for joining us. And also to Rutu as well. And, um, and to Gil who's joined us from, from Whanganui. So thank you guys for joining us today. We are, like I said, making scrambled eggs. Two versions. The very first version I'm going to show you guys, as I was saying, is the healthy version. And that is the one um, that even if you're on a gut health diet, even if you are conscious about the amount of fat and dairy you have in your diet, you don't have to worry about it. So here we go first. I'm gonna bring you back guys down to my bench because I wanna show you, it's easy. You know eggs are easy, but there's a little bit of technique involved. So we're gonna, we're gonna be talking about technique. So first and foremost, sorry guys, I'm just getting my angles correct. There we go. First and foremost, obviously when it comes to scrambled eggs, we need eggs, and the eggs that I'm using today are free range eggs, a little bit nicer than battery ends, but can I just say, if you are um, in, in whatever part of the world you're coming to us today, and, and, and morning to Siobhan as well, morning Siobhan, and we've got someone joining us from WA, Jamie, how early is it for you? You're joining us from WA, good on you darling. If it's nine o'clock in Sydney, it's 6 a.m. in WA, so well done, <laughs> that's awesome. So eggs, of course, and eggs are a vital part of making sure that we're getting good protein, we're getting good nutrients, and in fact, I have been told that eggs could be the perfect diet food, because everything we, almost everything we need is right there in this egg, and I'm using free-range eggs today. Of course I am, because there's more flavor, the chickens are more respected, which is really important because we need to be sustainable. But let's just say, and, and because we're all different, wherever we are from, whatever part of the world we're in, 
we're all different in our budget what I'm trying to give you guys is just the fact that we're doing things from scratch and not going to McDonald's and buying the friggin you know bacon and egg McMuffin you can do this at home it takes you only a few minutes okay so starting with our eggs so every time I do a um, some scrambled or I do an omelette always starts with three eggs that's my basis but for this healthy version and I call this creamless creamy scrambled eggs you notice I put two eggs in there now I'm going to do something a bit sneaky and this is what's going to make it creamy this is a dairy free egg that we're doing here so it's dairy free obviously it's gluten free as well so I've got two whole eggs in there but this time around I'm actually not going to add a whole egg and this is what's going to give our eggs a really delicious creaminess with actually out adding in the no dairy right because cream is normally you add cream but today we're just going to add eggs so two whole eggs and then for my third egg I am removing the white you see that you see how that fell down and I'm just gonna add in the yolk so really good protein in there for anyone who works out goes to the gym this should be your breakfast almost every single day so I've got two whole eggs and one yolk this here the egg white can be kept for my cauliflower bread that takes 90 seconds by the way I'm going to use that as part of um, this dish at the end so don't waste that keep that put that in the fridge and when you need to make my cauliflower bread and you can actually oh, I'm just looking we've got Kerry coming us to us from New South Wales I'm in New South Wales too Kerry thank you so um don't throw that away keep that you can make bread out of that that takes 90 seconds I've got a recipe on Bridget's kitchen for cauliflower bread using your egg whites so definitely do not throw that away keep that away for later keep that aside for later so we've got two whole eggs one egg yolk just all you need is a fork you don't need to even need a whisk and give that a bit of a mix I'm now going to turn on my pan here and I'm using I'm actually using a wok which I know is a little bit weird but I'm using a wok the reason I'm using the wok is just because it's non-stick really important when we're doing this because we're trying not to add any things we don't need to add so just gonna whisk that through just like that you just want to make sure there's no streaks of the yolk yeah and the fork is definitely the best way to make that happen so when you've got no streaks left and it's kind of that universal yellow color through there it's looking pretty good we're over here to our pan I'm gonna bring you guys down here ready <laughs> Are you ready? Ah, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. We hit a snag. Roadblock. Nope, there we are. Yay, you're in my pan now. Fantastic. We have Joe Orbrest joining us from WA as well. Thank you, Joe, for joining us. If you're in WA, you're up very early, my darling. It's, um, you, know, you know, it's amazing. And thank you for joining us to watch this egg recipe. But I also thought, you know, it's going to be Father's Day in a couple of days. So this is the perfect thing for you guys to learn. You can do the healthy version of the creamiest scrambled eggs, or you can actually do the creamiest version of the creamy scrambled eggs. Okay, so our pan is now hot. I've got it on the medium to high heat. Now, if you want to do your eggs completely healthy, so we're just doing eggs, what you would then do is you would take a sheet of baking paper and you would lay that into your frying pan and pull your eggs on top. That means you're not adding any fat any oils and you can cook your scrambled eggs like that so that is a nice little way of doing it yeah a little bit of baking paper non-stick baking paper uh, Australia and New Zealand will know that I use glad I use glad baking paper which is perfect but you can also do this as well and I just have a little bit of melted butter here and I always use butter with my eggs unless you don't you can't have dairy you could use a little bit of coconut oil and then taking a pastry brush I just very gently and lightly so that's why it's so like rather than pouring that all in you don't have any control I probably only have half a teaspoon of butter in there so you see that steam that's coming off perfect now it's time we're on about a medium heat now to add in our eggs now what you want to do here is you want to resist the urge to start scrambling this is very important we want light gorgeous eggs I'm going to add a little bit of salt It's going to go in. I'm also going to add a little bit of black pepper. That's going in as well. And then taking up my wooden spoon here, I'm just going to be able to gently, can you guys see? 
begin to nudge the eggs around the pan. And what is now happening is I'm getting a very, very gentle cook from these scrambled eggs. They're almost like pushed eggs, as you can see. And just like that, on a medium heat, our eggs are done. So, taking it off the heat, turning off that noisy machine, push it to the side. It's so noisy. I hope someone invents an induction portable that is not as noisy as this. <laughs> okay, so, can you guys see my eggs? Oh. Ooh, looking gorgeous come back down to the bench because I now want to show you guys the plating up so Because this is our healthy version. I call this a cream less creamy scrambled eggs And you know what actually gives us the creaminess is that extra egg yolk that I added into the mix Don't forget salt and pepper is really important to help to, to really taste What is involved in there when it comes to those eggs? I'm going to take a little bit of lettuce it's up to you what you decide to serve your absolutely ultra healthy scrambled eggs with. You can use a lettuce like I've done. I've just got a wonderful mixed lettuce. We've got um, we've got a lovely red oak. We've got beetroot leaves, which are delicious as well. It's up to you. But let's say you wanted to have wilted spinach, or maybe you want to serve this with a little bit of um, crispy bacon. Why not? Because what you actually have there. Oh, get rid of that one. That's not a nice leaf. We only want nice, nice leaves. What you have there, as I was saying, this is creamless, creamy scrambled eggs. So remember, two whole eggs and one egg yolk. There's no dairy in this. There is no dairy. Yes, I did take the pan with a little bit of butter, but if you don't want to have dairy, you can do the pan with a little bit, just the tiniest amount of avocado oil or olive oil, and you get the creamy, 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 less scrambled eggs. Now, you've got that, let's go on to the next one. Because the next one is actually the eggs that I made on the Oprah show. So quite a few years ago now, maybe 10, 12 years ago, um, when I worked in a cafe in Sydney, and I was the head chef, and this cafe was already pretty well known for its scrambled eggs, and then the Oprah show was in town, so they came to town, and they got me to create these scrambled eggs on the Oprah show, and the, and the Good Morning America show. So these scrambled eggs, as I was saying before, and I don't want to put too much emphasis on the fact that they're the best scrambled eggs in the world, but they really are. <laughs> no, they, they totally are. So these scrambled eggs have been named in the New York Times as the best scrambled eggs in the world. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make the best scrambled eggs in the world, and let me just say that the eggs that I just showed you guys, I showed you guys that for a, for a reason, just in case you don't have dairy in your diet, because these scrambled eggs actually have dairy. So are you ready for the recipe? Here we go. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to bring you back down to my bench. I have another bowl here. And once again, we have to be very mindful about the type of eggs we use. Now this restaurant that I worked in in Sydney, we had a organic egg supplier, but you can still get away with just having free range because I know that the price um, difference is quite extraordinary between um, free range and organic. So I am using free range. And once again, this is for one portion, yeah? So one portion means three whole eggs. So, um, yeah, this is maybe, like I can share this with someone else. My husband, Mahe, he just thinks this is half a portion. He's like, where's the rest? <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with this. And hi to Ruth. Hello, my darling. And to Susan as well. Thank you. You are the best too, my love. So three whole eggs go in there. Free range or organic. If you can't afford those, those two, don't worry. Just cook your food from scratch. It's going to be better than buying something from Macca's or someone that's over processed. So even if you can't afford the free range, um, just as long as we're cooking from scratch. So once again, we're going to take our fork. We don't need a whisk. We don't need anything crazy like that. All we're going to do is we're going to whisk up our eggs, break them. And you know how I was saying there is no diet version to this recipe? I wasn't lying. There is literally... <laughs> And oh my gosh, we've got Latika La joining us from New Zealand as well. Thank you, my love. So I wasn't lying about the fact that there's no diet vision to this recipe. And how you we know that is I'm just going to bring here. This is what we're going to cook it on. Right. What I need to do 
is now add in the non-diet version or dairy version. So into my three eggs, remember these are the best scrambled eggs in the world. And if you're a person, I just got a little bit of fluffies in there. If you're a person who um, can tolerate dairy, this is probably ideal because there's st still some good fats in here. And what I have in here, I've spoken about it for a while now, is one third of a cup of full cream. So if you want to make the best eggs in the world, please don't think you can do it with skim milk or trom milk as we call it in New Zealand. Trom, it needs cream. This is what's gonna get that voluptuousness. And remember, I made these on the Oprah show. I made these on the Good Morning America and these were named in the New York Times as the best scrambled eggs in the world. There is a reason why. Sadly, <laughs> for people who don't have dairy, the reason why is cream. All right, just remember that. Okay, I'm going to turn my little hot plate on here. I'm actually going to go back to my non-stick wok or just whatever non-stick pan you have in your house. Boy. But because you know I've got some residue from the last eggs, I'm actually going to give that a bit of a wipe out. Because all that's going to do is that's going to make our, um, it's going to cause those little, those little bits do not go in the best scrambled eggs in the world. Just give it a bit of a wipe out with a paper towel. Roll it in the rubbish. Like that. Back onto the heat. Same type of heat as the first eggs. So the first eggs were just on a medium style heat. Moving over so you guys can see. Then I don't have to move the camera. Well, hey, there we go. Does everyone can see that? Is that good? Here we go. Right. So, remember our eggs? Lightly whisked. No drama in the mixing of those eggs, by the way. These are drama-free eggs. Father's Day, make, seriously guys, make this. Even if, even if um, you're the father and no one's making you breakfast, <laughs> make this. Seriously, three eggs, a third of a cup of cream. Remember three and three, real easy, right? Medium heat here, non-stick pan. Remember best eggs in the world. I'm gonna take you through this process. It is simple ingredients, but there is a little bit of technique involved here. The same with our healthy version, which is really important. Once again, I'm taking up my melted butter using a pastry brush as opposed to just tipping it in because I have more control of how much butter I'm putting in there, which is really important. So just giving it a little bit of a wipe. Do you see I've got, I can hear it sizzling, and I've also got a bit of steam rising off it, but I know my pan's hot. The next thing I'm gonna do is taking up my salt, I'm actually gonna salt the pan. I need the salt to begin to dissolve in a little bit, because these eggs, which are going in now, do not, turning it down one, one more, these eggs, am I, do not spend a lot of time in here. Eggs are in. Once again, we need to resist the urge to scramble. Do you notice how I'm getting some bubbles there? Come closer. Do you notice how I'm getting some bubbles there? In there? I can see bubbles, I can see bubbles. That's a good thing. Shaking. Do you notice I've not put the wooden spoon in yet? All I've done is just left it. And what's happening now is the protein is beginning to set on the base of the pan. And then what I'm gonna do, once again, is begin to gently nudge the cook side around as I'm nudging that stuff there which is cooked the raw is taking uh, taking its place so what we're getting here is a very gentle cook which means we're getting voluptuous scrambled eggs these are going to be the softest and most tenderest scrambled eggs you have ever had in your life continue to just shake a little bit move move the eggs around the cook stuff is taking the place. I was moving so the raw stuff can take its place. And then what we have is scrambled eggs or nudged eggs, whatever you want to call it. But that stuff is so light and gorgeous and creamy, it is going to blow your mind. So we don't need that anymore. All we need now to do is to plate up. But that was it. That took 30 seconds. 30 seconds to get the best scrambled eggs in the world. That's all you need once it goes onto the heat. Remember that, it's all you need, 30 seconds. If you leave it on longer, what then happens is the eggs start to get over, cooked, and they dry out, whereas you want it to be voluptuous and creamy. So 30 seconds, non-stick pan. Onto my plate here. What I'm gonna serve it with today is actually, I talked about that extra egg white. Well, this is what, I, what, what you can make it into. This is a cauliflower bread, gluten-free bit of bread. Of course, you can use normal gluten-free toast if you're making it for Dad on Father's Day. But I have a gluten-free toast here. So I'm going to put that there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
And when I used to work in the restaurant um, that used to serve this, the restaurant that I cooked these at, was we would serve this dish, this gorgeous dish with scrambled eggs. We would serve it with, obviously with bacon, we'd serve it with sides of mushrooms, would have um, wilted spinach on the side, you know, anything you could possibly imagine that goes really, really well with scrambled eggs. But these are literally a bit of pepper, just a little bit of salt. And let's finish it off with a garnish. And the garnish I'm gonna to do today, just because we, we wanna be special, especially if you're making it for Father's Day. You know my beetroot leaves, which I love, which have got that lovely red vein? Let's finish that off with just a couple of beetroot leaves, a bit of a wipe of the plane. And there you have the best, I'm not lying, the best scrambled eggs. I'm not lying. These are the best scrambled eggs in the world. Look at that. So when I asked my husband, what he would like for breakfast. And by the way, I've been making these scrambled eggs for decades. But when I ask him in the morning what he would like for breakfast, you know what his answer is every single time? Scrambled eggs. They're that good. So you guys need to go to make it. So there you go, guys. Best scrambled eggs in the world. But if you missed um, the start of our video, I was also giving you um, a recipe for dairy-free. Because there is, this is, not, this is not the dairy-free version. But you know what? It's fantastic and Oprah liked them and um, that's all we need to know so there you go enjoy your day today and if I don't see you before Father's Day have a great Father's Day take care bye